So, I believe Girl Meets A Christmas Maya will be the next Girl Meets World episode to be released. But not only will it be the next episode, in my opinion, it may be the last real chance for Girl Meets World to end off season 3 with a little bit of dignity. What's going on YouTube? Uh, so out of all of the episodes in season 3 post ski lodge, Girl Meets a Christmas Maya is probably the episode that has the most hype. This and Girl Meets a Sweet 16. But if you pay attention to the rumors surrounding this episode, this episode is probably the one with the most promise remaining in season 3. So here's my question to you guys. Considering how fed up most of us are with this show right now, and considering how most of our patience is really, really running thin, if this episode ends up not living up to the hype, and it ends up being some goofy, trashy episode or something, will that be the last straw for you? Will you end up putting away your Girl Meets World fandom hat, so to speak? I guess what I'm asking is, is Girl Meets A Christmas Maya Girl Meets World's last chance to hold on to their remaining audience? Because I'll tell you what, people, I have high hopes for this episode. I'm counting on this episode to be one of the better episodes of the season, even though that wouldn't be saying much, but still. I'm counting on this episode to give me hope and give me a reason to even want a season four. Because if season three ends up ending the way that it's been going, I mean, then at that point, what? <laughs> What's the point of even having a season 4? I mean, am I supposed to just blindly have faith that they're gonna turn the show around for some reason? I mean, it's kind of hard for me to have faith in writers that came up with a storyline that involved Maya turning into Riley and therefore somehow losing all feelings that she had for Lucas because of it. Get the f*** out of here. Yeah, um, you try to have faith in those writers. The only thing that's keeping me even having a shred of hope as far as Lucaya and that is concerned is the fact that the storyline is so stupid that it almost can't be true. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's so freaking retarded that it almost can't be true. There almost has to be something else to the storyline. I mean, these are the same writers that came up with Girl Meets Texas Part 1 and 2. Then again, they're also the same writers that came up with Part 3, but, but y you get what I'm saying. How can a group of writers be capable of putting together such great episodes and then turn around and give us such trash? A part of me still refuses to believe that. And that's the part of me that still wants a Season 4. So as you can see, I'm pretty much an emotional wreck right now. But in my opinion, season three cannot afford any more bad and terrible episodes. They've already had their fair share. They are in serious danger in losing the majority of their audience that they still have left, or at least a big chunk of it. People are getting sick of this garbage. We want to see good quality episodes again. And you know what else we want? We want more Lucaya. Because don't think I haven't noticed that ever since Ski Lodge happened, there has not been anywhere near the amount of Lucaya moments that we all want and deserve. Serve. Oh, and what a coincidence, right? You give us less Lucaya, and at the same time, the show just, I guess it's a coincidence, gets a lot worse. Go figure. Lucaya carried the show, along with Sabrina and Maya, of course, which is the only reason that I even still watch. But even Sabrina and Maya can't carry trash around on their backs for too long, because eventually they're gonna end up hunchback. And they're gonna end up with 
back problems. I mean, Sabrina, Maya, I know your back has got to be hurting from carrying these bums for so long i mean right but people long story short the last remaining episodes of season three have got to be good you've already had enough bad episodes and you've already had enough fillers no more we're sick of it and it needs to all start with girl meets a christmas maya it absolutely has to live up to the expectations but let me know what you guys think think about that but also one more thing i want to touch on very quickly because girl meets world is no longer getting it done for me anymore and because backstage season two is still a long ways away from starting i'm getting a little bit desperate at the moment and i can't believe i'm about to ask you guys this question but desperate times call for desperate measures despite how terrible the first episode of the lodge was i can't help but notice that there was a lot of love being shown for this show now either this is a bunch of nine and ten year olds that like the show or maybe just maybe the show does get better and it's not as bad as the first episode was now i can't even imagine how that could possibly be true because the first episode was that bad however if enough people in the comment section tell me that this show is good and worth another try i will attempt to watch at least one more episode and if the second episode is at least better than the first then i will watch the third episode but i want enough people to tell me that this show is actually good because i am not going to torture myself if the next few episodes or every episode for that matter is anywhere near as bad as the first but i am looking for another show to get into at least until girl meets world gets its act together or backstage comes back on tv but I'm done talking. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. And if you guys are interested in supporting my channel so I can make many more videos for you guys going forward, check out that Patreon link in the description box. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.